Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, in this tutorial session we will cover how to uh, add a logo or a picture or an image or a photo to a part. And as you can see in this part like this small box here we have a flat surface so we're going to put uh, like an image and in this case we have a uh, Queen Nefertari and on the curved surfaces we're going to put uh, or, or add the uh, King Tut uh, funerary mask okay okay now let's go and uh, for, for putting that we'll use this box small box and uh, in our way to what I'm going to show you I'm going to uh, show you how to build this box uh, again this is will be a good practice for those who are uh, uh, in early stages of learning solid edge but for those who are experienced now they can uh, avoid they can move to the part they would like to watch uh, the video is time coded and then you can this is why you can jump to any location you want <coughs> I give another example also like see this is like a university uh, logo and this is the mascot logo for the university so also I put it there so uh, just to show uh, different examples of that so I'm gonna without a further ado so let's go to solid edge and start the process so I open solid edge I use the uh, uh, NC metric because the dimensions are in millimeter and what I'm gonna start I start with the top view so what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna add the have the the coordinate the the base the reference planes and I'm gonna start with a rectangle by center the dimension is 100 by 100 oh, I need to put it inside 100 by 100 Enter. so now now I would like to lock myself to the plane the, the top plane so what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna move the mouse to the top plane and then I see F3 I'm gonna click on F3 once I click on F3 means that I'm locked. Any drawing I'm going to do is going to be only on the top plane. And you see that F3, it is in the corner here. So now what I'm going to do is just I'm going to get hide the other planes and move to the top plane. So this is, and then put the dimensions here, put the, the thing in the middle here, in the center. The next step is I'm going to go to circle by center. The diameter is 20 <coughs> millimeter and I will go to the corner each corner I'm gonna put it in each corner add it to each corner the next step is to make the half a circle and the other half a circle to the others to the right and to the left so the diameter is 70 and we're gonna go put it exactly in the middle you see the center the point here in the middle so if you go up this is not the middle but here is gonna be the middle when you see it like this you click and then you go the same thing you click here now the reason I locked to uh, the top plane so I can use the uh, the quick trim tools so the trim tools here so I'm gonna just go like this go like this and the same thing for the bottom the lower corners and also in the middle here in this and this and the other one here so I was able to get the shape so now I'm gonna what I'm gonna do just I'm gonna go to home 
extrude chain that's fine chain or a face that's fine this face right click and I'm gonna move it down uh, five millimeter so I was able to get the pace of the box now the next step is I'm gonna go to to the use the sketches and click on the sketch we just used so I want to bring it back so I want to I want to I want to use it for make it I want to use it and you will I will show you that why I need it okay so I'm gonna say restore when I say restore now you can see the sketch at the edge here and this is why I made the extrusion to the bottom so I can have the sketch on the top what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to the command uh, one of the command here in the draw tools is called offset so I'm gonna click on offset and I'm gonna make an offset of five millimeters similar to the one we use for the extrusion so that the image the thickness will be the same all over so I say okay now I need to choose the chain that I need to offset so I'm gonna click on the edges here so as you can see it is highlighted and I'm gonna say okay do you have two choice either you can make the offset inside or you make it outside so I want to make it inside so I'm gonna click inside so this way and then escape so this way I was able to draw an offset of the same shape but inside five millimeter now I'm gonna go to extrude <coughs> and I'm gonna say add uh, instead of face I'm gonna use a chain and I'm gonna click this chain here and the other the outside the chain and any point in the middle between the two chains right click and then I can extrude the 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 the, the, the walls okay and the dimension will be 95 so the total dimension will be 100 so I'm gonna say 95 and so I succeeded to make the box I can make it fit if uh, okay so I succeeded to make the box and now we will start doing the <coughs> adding the picture or the logo or whatever we would like to add to add the, 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 the photo or the picture to this the flat surface it is really straightforward so what I'm gonna do first let me get the uh, rectangle by center I'm gonna click on this one I need a rectangle 60 by 80 and I'm gonna go to this surface here so I'm gonna click on F3 so means I'm locked to this plane so now I'm gonna go to the front view so now I'm gonna put it inside so let me move this one up So to bring it to the middle exactly so I'm gonna highlight this one go up and the highlight one of these to get the middle so this will be like this so now I highlight the both of them so now I was gonna see when I see the the dashed line vertical and horizontal dashed line I'm gonna click this mean I was able to put the rectangle exactly in the center of the surface so we were able to do this the the, the, the rectangle uh, in the center of the surface and then we're going to escape so now we succeeded for that and the first the next step is to start how we can lay or add the picture to or the to this surface here so the way to do that was we're going to go to the uh, i believe surface thing yeah surfacing yeah okay surfing and I'm gonna say that I need to split you see the word split okay split okay I'm gonna say okay I split here is the surface I need to split this highlight I say okay and the thing thing saying is just what I need to split from the surface which is this one highlighted this one okay so I'm gonna go back here click on this edge and click on the other edge and click on the third edge 
and the fourth edge and I say OK so this way I was able to split between the two surfaces I'm gonna go say finish okay I cancel okay the next step I'm gonna go home back and in home I'm gonna go to view and in view I want to create a style so in style I'm gonna create a new style and in the new style I need to create a texture and this texture texture is called what uh, the it has uh, the first uh, face style so then I'm gonna browse the, uh, the the computer to find which one I want to use so I use uh, this uh, infertary I say open so you have the picture apply okay so now I was able to create something called face style one I'm gonna say close or apply or close okay now once I did that I go to part painter okay and then I'm gonna choose the yeah, face is fine and then I'm gonna use look for what I need to use for paint as a painter so I'm gonna go, go to what face style so I'm gonna create the first one style and I'm gonna click on this face and then automatically it will put me the picture or the, 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 the photo on the page so I was able to succeed to lay the picture of uh, Queen Nefertari on the flat surface let's move to the I'm gonna go home and I wanna build I'm gonna also highlight bring back the uh, plane uh, the reference planes I don't need all of them all what I need I need just only the right plane so I'm gonna hide the other plane so I have the right plane here now I need to build a plane go home I need to to, to build a plane parallel to the right plane but at near the edge of the curved surface no, no, near that okay so what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna click on uh, consonant plane I'm gonna click on this plane the right plane now it come another plane was created so I'm gonna go to this arrow and I'm gonna move it far away at least so the distance from the center to the edge is going to be 85 so it has to be more than 85 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe put like some kind of let me move this one from the way so uh, I'm going to make it like maybe 95 just a little bit more than the thing 95 or 100 or something like that so I was able to create a plane <coughs> just near the curved surface and the next step is I'm gonna click on circle by center why because oh I need to get out of this plane first okay so I'm gonna click on plane circle by center so this way I can lock myself to this new surface which is this one so once I see F3 I'm gonna click means that the circle will be drawn on this location so the, the diameter here is 50 so I'm gonna put 50 and I'm gonna go to the right view so this way I can see it here and I'm gonna try also to do it in the center so I'm gonna highlight the, the center of the shape here and then go to the edge here highlight the center here is somewhere here okay when I see that the dashed line horizontal and dashed line vertical I'm gonna click this means that the circle is exactly on on the center or aligned to the center of the of the of the part so now if you look carefully to the if you look to the sides from the side you see as you can see the circle is drawn on the the plane we just created now we need to project this surface this circle to the to the to the surface so how you do, do that just what i'm going to do i'm going to go to surfacing project okay I'm gonna choose the chain this is a chain here I say okay and I need to project it on this single yeah on this one and I say okay 
and as you can see there is an arrow here so is it outside or inside okay inside or outside so I'm gonna say no it is inside so now I was able to project the circle to the curved surface I'm gonna say finish cancel okay I don't need this one so now what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna just to, uh, hide the plane here I just created so I'm gonna say hide the plane I don't need it anymore and the other thing also I need I'm gonna highlight the circle and deleted it so I don't need it anymore okay so we're gonna go to to this part here and we'll do the same thing which is the split the surfaces so I'm gonna say split so now I split what from this surface I'm just gonna say okay I need to split what this area here so I'm gonna highlight this one and say okay once I split the two surfaces now I'm gonna paint or the, this uh, uh, the area here with whatever picture I have so now I'm gonna go to home so let's go home and in home we're gonna go to view now we need to create the style the the, the painter for the for the logo here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click on style new now this is face style number two and then I'm gonna say texture browse and select the king dot open and then apply okay so once we done that we're gonna close and then we're gonna go to part painter choose the style number two which is the same one we have on the face and I'm gonna click here and once you click that it will be uh, added to the curved surface man it looks very beautiful okay so now this will end the session for today and uh, I hope that you like the video or the tutorial about how to add logo logos or picture or, or photos to a part in solid edge I hope you enjoyed the video and I would like to thank you for watching and uh, please give me your feedback if you like the video please subscribe to the channel click the bell and give it a thumb up have a wonderful day and see you soon on another video bye bye